Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was black as a mussel shell. And he swam faster and than swimmy. his brothers and sisters. And his name was Swimmy. Swimmy. This is Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish swifted through fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. And in one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. But, bad day. But, 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 just, he didn't even eat this fish. Yeah, he swam all the, he ate all the red fish, but Swimmy got away. Oh, and he swam away in the deep wet world, and he was scared, lonely, and very, very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. And a lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. And strange fish. <gasps> Mommy, I pulled. see Swimmy. I see Swimmy. Mm -hmm. And a strange fish pulled by invisible thread. And a forest of seaweed growing from sugar candy rocks. And an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Too dangerous. Yeah, eels are dangerous. And sea anemones who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. And starfish. And then hitting in the dark shades of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Hey, let's go swim and play and see things, he said happily. But you can't just, but we can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. Well, you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Hmm. So Swimmy thought and he thought and he thought. And then suddenly he said, I have it. We're all going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. So he taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Like this. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end.